Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a tip in Excel in rearranging or sorting your columns in pivot tables. If you've ever created a pivot table and you've had a situation where, you know, your columns are supposed to be in some sort of order, but like this that I have here, I've manipulated some dummy data here at an order. 2019 is not where it should be. It can be kind of frustrating trying to figure out how do I get this to go correctly so it's all chronological and the data shows up correctly here. So this is a very, very simple fix. There's a couple things you can do. You can right, uh, right click on your column headers there and you can go to sort and you can sort A to Z and it should adjust correctly. But let's say you're doing that and this still isn't working. There's probably something wrong with your data, but you don't necessarily need to go in and figure out what it is. So if that doesn't work, there's something else that you can do. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to sort it again from A to Z. And something you can do, like there, there's this other feature here, sort, you can go to more sort options. And then manual, you can drag items to rearrange them. You can hit OK. You don't necessarily need to do that, but all you need to do is just hover over the column that you want to move, and then you'll click on it, and you'll drag it. And once you see that green line pop up, you can move it to where you need, need to go. So we can drop the 2019 right after 2020, and voila, everything is in order, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to work great. So you'll have all of your, your data in the order that you want. If you wanted to adjust 2020 for whatever reason and put that at the beginning of the pivot table, you can do that. It's very, very flexible. You can, you can go ahead and manipulate the columns as you see fit. They don't necessarily need to be in any sort of order. So it's very helpful, very easy to do, and a very quick little tip to, to help in creating and manipulating data in pivot tables. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any additional questions here, and please subscribe to the Excel Guy. Thanks, and have a great day.